Hey everyone, today I am going to do a quick review and demonstration of some of the Office Suite programs available on the iPad. And the first one I will try here is Documents 2. This is a free version and what is limiting this one is I believe uh, on like the Excel type fields, the spreadsheet type fields, there's a limited number of spots. Let's see here. So exactly 25 up to J. Uh, let's see if we can just do some quick calculations. We have 250. We can go down here at the bottom. It might be hard to see. You can adjust the decimal points. Let's do an equation. We can do a, a sum use. So all it did is equal sum of and then again if you in your coding you could do a 1 A1 through A3. Now we can put information in here. And then to enter the text, highlight the field, go to the top. 24. Done. And you see a different um, equation going on here, which is A3 times A4 to get this number. So this is actually a pretty neat program, especially for being free. And you can upgrade this to a higher level. to get the upgrade to the full version I mean to get the full functionality Wi-Fi sharing you can enter this onto your computer if you do command K in finder you'll be able to connect a server and then it'll open up a window to be able to share back and forth between this app and your computer without having to plug into iTunes let me go to documents down here is the upgrade let's see how much the full version costs right now right now for only two dollars and this is a program that's designed to work you can see the little plus sign designed to work on the iPad or the iPhone and uh, I guess there's been some <laughs> a lot of uh, low reviews as far as like freezing that's another tip if you have a program that's freezing a lot go ahead and do a hard reset to go ahead and or actually not a hard reset but just shut it down where you hold down the top button where it says shut down slide it restart it and that's gonna make your applications run more smoothly and more stable. Um, now here's an interesting thing that I'm, it says it does not work with connecting to some of the like Google Docs and so forth. Let's see if we can find, as I mentioned, at least you can do the command K to connect with Wi-Fi wi sharing if this is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your computer. You just put in your Gmail information, and I don't see any reason why it would not work. And I think for two dollars, this program is really a pretty good, a pretty good deal for what it does, considering the Apple programs for PowerPoint, Excel, and their Word document program is ten dollars each for a total of thirty dollars. This is only two dollars, and you can make all three types of. new folder, new document, you can do new photo, paint, spreadsheet, document. Uh, so this one does not have the PowerPoint as it turns out. But for what it does, not too bad. Well thank you for your time everyone. Have a great day.